Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. To complete the video from last Thursday, we just have to add one more thing, which is that we have to load more products on when we hit the bottom of the page. Of course, I've only added one product so far, so we won't see that right here, but once we have more products, we will be able to see that. And also, if you like this video, maybe consider subscribing and liking this video to help me making more videos just like this one. So last time we added this statement um, in the main page where it says once we have loaded the product we want to set an AJAX request. Well, if we think about it we had this offset and limit, we just have to change that offset once we hit the bottom of the page. And we do that by typing below the AJAX request but inside of the document ready function we can just add another function which will be triggered every time we scroll and this is dollar sign of window dot scroll and then again we can just add this function thingy right here and then we can type our function and the first thing we actually have to do is determine if we hit the bottom of the page now once we have scrolled so we can do that with an if right here and in there we can do another jQuery thing which is to get the current scroll top and if that is bigger or equal to the document height minus the window minus the window height then we are sure we hit the bottom of the page so let's do that real quick like that you know once we have hit the bottom of the page we of course have to add this ajax request so let's add in the ajax request we need we can just type dollar sign dot ajax parentheses, curly braces, and we of course also have the semicolon in here. And then we can type, we need a type, and this again will be a get request. The URL, so the script we are using to do that request, and this will be in one, one directory up, and then in load products dot ink dot php again this dot ink is not a file extension but just for my organization purposes so i know this is just a script it's not an actual page and then we need a data we want to pass in curly in curly braces and this will be the offset and now we somehow have to determine what do we actually where are we of, um, offset wise and for that we can just create a flag variable up here just var flag and this will be equal to in my case 8 and this is because I've said that my limit here is 8 so we can then just go into here and say okay our offset is equal to the flag because we want to load from 8 products and on. Again, our limit will continue to be 8. And for now we don't need anything else. Then after the data we again want to add this little success function right here. And here we can just pass a... We can give it an actual function. And I don't know why it kind of awkwardly positions it there. Um, but we just have to pass in a function and give it data. And then we again want to append our, our data we retrieved from that request to our products tag. And we can get that by again this little jQuery syntax here where we can just type dollar sign in parentheses products with single pro quotes uh, dot append 
and then we of course want to append the data. But now once we have loaded more, we of course want to increment our offset because we don't want to load the same products once we have found the bottom of the page. So we can just add 8 to the flag because we have loaded 8 products. So we just skip to the next, next 8 products once we load the next time. And this actually is everything we need to do for now. So let's go ahead and test it out, shall we? Of course we cannot actually test it out, but we can just try and scroll and we don't get any errors, so that's great. Of course we could uh, try and just load more products and I will do this quick and dirty by just opening our products table right here. And I don't want to manually add more products, so I'm just going to hit Ctrl D a few times. Once we have a few products, I'm going to skip at 18. Hit the save icon, so it actually writes the changes to the database, that's important. And once we have hit reload, we should see that we have more products here, and they are working. It's working really right, fine, because it's loading more products. Cool! So, this was a smaller video, but I just didn't want to put it in the last video, because it would then just... It would be too much content for one tutorial to understand everything. So I just used this video to further try and to explain this concept of Ajax requests. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did maybe leave a like and a comment as I said. And till then, see you next time.